dates on my bank holiday of 2011. 0710. Cardiff Green Street. Thanks for looking at the picture. Well, Starbucks wasn't open. However, I think these can do me a deal on coffee. And here we are. Back in the saddle. Cottage Brewing. Norman Conquest. 5% alcohol by volume. Brownish. Nice head. Rather thin body. I don't know what to make of this. It tastes weak. It's okay, but eh, M E H. We'll give that a B. Although it looks nice. And it doesn't taste as 5% alcohol by volume. It's got a sort of odd aftertaste. Hey, we have you to drink, so let's go for it. And number two, and I'm ahead of schedule. And this is more from Cottage Brewing. Actually, the Norman's Conquest tasted better as it went down. I still wouldn't give it much more than a B, but it was good. Well, different anyway, less watery like if all the solids went to the bottom. There weren't any solids, but that's the way it tasted. Anyway, this is VC-10. After the famous British passenger aircraft and tanker and transport aircraft for the um, RAF, which we're still using. I think Queen actually flies in it as well. Okay, 4.5% alcohol by volume. And quite nicely upside. Ooh. I wonder why they call it BC10 because that is orangey. Very orangey. And actually, it looks orangey. And acidic. I'll give that B. Plus. That's much better. And number three, Cribbin. Hope the pronunciation is correct. Four and a half percent, half Imperial alcohol by volume from the Brackenshire Brewery. Um, just north the Big Carl Land. Anyway, that looks like a golden ale. Nice gentle head. Clearing slowly. Mm. I don't know what that tastes like. So. It's got lots of stuff in it. That's a technical term. Slightly a citrusy, bitter aftertaste, but. I don't know. If I was right of the echo, that would have lots of technical things, but it's like a sour taste to it. I'm gonna give that a B plus. That could be today's pint of the day. Ooh, pint of the day. Yep. Yeah.